<laughs> Bye, Quincy. <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing is more satisfying than uh, the, uh, knocking a unique monster off the literal cliff. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome. I uh, welcome back to Xenoblade Zin Chronicles: Torna, Torna, the Gone Country. In the last episode, we we finally made our prep pre preparations for uh, for the desert, and now and now and now and, and, and are all ready to go in. You meet our ever. Y you meet our he heroes now, right at the st right, right at the end of combat training, as we took our revenge on Quincy. <laughs> and now, and now we we're here. We got our revenge, and we're able to pick uh, pick up the goods on top of that. And money and gems, all, all the same. Pretty, pr pretty decent. And not and and not only that, hey, Faze gets a little bit of combat tra training in before her trip to the desert, as the rest of us. And also in last episode, we we got we got to a village which seems to have some past significance to Jin. And I also got a nice photo, a nice photo shot for our troubles. The, this episode though. We're wasting the, we're wasting a little time and go straight to the desert. <laughs> right after I take take care of these guys and get the and get the penicillin, and so I'll probably right back. Oh, I was so close! I was so close to being able to do my level four. Ah, shame. <laughs> anyway, let's let's get let's get what uh, who were came here for. And go back to Mugen, who I'm sure, who, who I'm sure is dying to see the results. I say, is that the pa panacea in your pocket, or oh, it is. Well, color me impressed. You brought it all back, and not so much as a scratch up on any of you. Exponential work, anyway. I really wish those malicious louts would would learn some some things from you all. It'd make my life easier, at least. Ah, but perhaps I shouldn't be comparing similar souls with great heroes of your kind. You're right. They all suck. <laughs> In any case, I thank you for your help. This should keep us going for a while. And now, and now, and now, and now we have an old man joining our entourage. I knew we were a man of people, King. I mean, a Prince Adam. Oink. <laughs> I can't tell if it's meant to be endearing or creepy, because he seems to be latched on to that idea. You can click penicil whenever you like. What does that include? Is, pan is penicil like a, pan a panacea bottle in which it... Re resurrection per perfume. Hello, and turquoise ships all, all the same. Something Bridget could make with her perfume? Apparently so. Prince Anne, be sure to need before you're not careful on less capacity various assets, stay in line, help us virtue, carry self as man, blah, 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 blah. Good to know. So, resurrection perfume. I'm just going to take a quick trip to the campsite and see what that entails. Because if so, it's pretty cool. <laughs> But not before we get a bit of a, we get we uh, we begin the incense of chat on Conversation Street. We just need to get a, get get across Donut Desert, and we'll be in Orozco, right? Right. The de the de desert is a harsh place, but the but the path is all is always visible. You can use it as it's orient yourself. It must be pretty enormous for us to be able to see it from such a distance. Don't try looking up when we're standing right in front of it, is all I'll say. Torn in technology represents the high watermark in many domains. This type of skyscraping architecture is just one example. Yeah, then what? A then what's Adam's gonna do with such a teeny little place back in a letter? Ah, <laughs> uh, you think my home is small. <laughs> and somehow I meant to like you. So anyway... Yeah, Bridget has some, uh, some uh, something new in song, so let's see. Let's see. What aroma do I desire? Resurrection perfume needs pan pan panacell, and it just needs 4 HP of recovery. 
So I was hoping it'd be an instant revive, but <laughs> I guess not. Though to be safe, 100 base affinity base is not bad. 100 base, 100 base affinity base. Where to be? Where to be? Where to be redundant? Beyond endless dunes, I somehow need bugs and bark to make <laughs> uh, to make my story. <laughs> Apparently. By stitch. And careful now. I will challenge myself today. No, never mind. do I desire? So based on that, I do kinda of, I do I do I do kinda of like how we're learning more about about each character through their I feel the likes and dislikes. Especially for this, because now it gets a, it 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 gets more per, 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 per personality on what they like. Because in in the base game, I never really took Bridget as a perfume type of woman, but now, but now it's definitely part it's part it's part it's part of her character and now part of the game mechanics, which I can really appreciate. I think I can remember her liking perfumes. Yeah, but I do. I know. I think you, I think you are right, but oh no, I just know, I just know, really got as a sign of her character. Mm-hmm. Oh no, this is really nice to see, see how their uh, the different likes can, uh, uh, can help help us out. Makes it makes it more endearing and makes it more like likable. Like, like I didn't know a Gian could cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing for me. It's like okay, apparently he can. <laughs> and uh, I, I just like little. Little references to uh, uh, at other blades likes and dislikes, like for example in in in, in the cutscene in la in last episode, Adam mentioned, "Wow, you like you like you, you like crab sticks," <laughs> in, and what's funny about it is that in in the base game, that's one of Mithra's favorite, favorite things. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk let's talk to Mister Lightyear before we go. Let's see if let's see if we can do. Anything for him, as he refuses to show his face. Buddy, I think I, I think I, I think Adam's gonna learn something from you. You you seem to be f you seem to be able, folk. I've got I've got a little job for you. You might have noticed that first live in the vicinity of here, Hyper Village. Well, it'd be helping me out greatly if you could defeat a few of the ugly brutes and bring me some ferrous beast meat, buddy. We are way ahead of you. Been more aggressive than normal, not taking them on myself. Without first beast meat, we can't make our reveals me meatball stew, tails in, and blah blah blah. blah. We have help us out. Looks like a recipe learning opportunity as well. Yep, for lack of a hunter, we have and we'll scratch yours. we have convenience. And like like I mentioned, we we've been killing a lot of ferrises, so now it's all done. Convenient, just like the original. Sweet. Much appreciated. This means T will be able to keep serving his speciality at least, at least time being. I'll be able to feed my son hybrid meatball stew to his stomach. As for rewards, well, you may have noticed that we're not exactly living luxury here every day to struggle. How about I give you a recipe for hybrid meatball stew? Let's say, teach a man how to fish. Okay, sweet. So, as your point, we get a recipe. And Hayes has nothing to say because it's, n it's nothing to do with her. <laughs> and. <laughs> And now we get Hooded Man. <laughs> Thank you. Do I do feel better go around to your, to your, to your's back? Wow. So, again, more, more community members are being added and more quests and more quests are being done. Which is a nice touch. Accomplished, then. It's all in good, but now, <laughs> but now for that. We get key, we get key, uh, we get key affinity, and the G uh, gen gets something new to cook. <laughs> I've got it, Your Majesty. I have a new recipe. <laughs> and and all the jazz. We already used the joke, uh, the joke before, but hey, once more, it's not so bad. Anyway, though, before I go, I didn't miss a chess. I said we were doing game. To Laura, uh, to Laura's point in la uh, yesterday. We are go. We are going to have Hayes to the front. So hopefully she, 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 she is no longer jealous, We're ready for this. and just going to ignore another guy who was an extreme jerk. Wait, wedding at the end. 
Buddy, I would, buddy, I would appreciate it if you left me alone. And you know what? I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna go in into what I want to say about the combat. I'll save it for a more significant fight. I guess I'm just crapping on this guy even more. He wasn't even. He wasn't even our main our, our main target, and he, and now and I'm just ignore, ignoring him. And and then he toppled you to retaliate. It's like, well, if you're being so uh, so down on me, I'm going be so down on you, <laughs> buddy. I know it's not rid of your name, but in all honesty, I only have one one thing to say. Is that is that a good sir? Get wrecked. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, no time, n no time, man, because now we're going to the brain, brain can, not the brain canyon, but uh, but the brain. Makes me wonder why they, they decided to swap the P for a B, but hey ho, as Hayes is so staggered by jumping off a cliff, she as she staggered herself. Let's just take a peek. And again, money, money and blade, blade crystals, not. Oh no. But right off the bat, on that note... <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up! I've been trying to start, stop saying that, okay? I'm trying. It's going to take me a while. It should... It, it should say... It should... It should say it's quick and snappy and it works! <laughs> but... En, but en, anyway... Something of note that I've, I've been no, I've been noticing, ha uh, ha uh, uh, is that treasure chests don't really appear to be of any. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say importance, but really of any value because all, all, all it appears to give us at this point is money, it, it's money and blade augments. That probably explains why they're so common. I know, and. We're not. We're uh, to this point. We have been in no, in no, in no dire need for money. In fact, in fact, in fact, we bought you know, upgrade upgrades and items from the village, and we're not short of cash at all. And blade augments, honestly, there isn't re really much that uh, uh, we can do because they're either low leveled or they're or they're just for things that we are not having an issue with. Say, like for example, fighting in the day. If, if fighting in day or night. It's nice bonuses, but it's something that it's not vital for. Oh no, it just seems really weird how... I don't know. How... How, how different it is from the base game. Because ba base game you had the options of core crystals and whatnot. But, but, despite that, here we are in the Danag de Desert. And right now, right, right now, it's a lo it's a lovely view, despite it being a desert. Oh no, I feel like it's colourful and there is a nice there is uh, there is a nice divide b between the skyline and the and the rocks ahead. Oh no, it it's small thing and I know deserts aren't that fantastic or exciting, but hey, it's noticeable. Should I know? What has got? There's nothing here, nothing at all. That's that fraud. If that Nopon sold me false information, I swear. What? Why am I angry? What's it to you? Here, this treasure map. The other day in Tornus Capital, I met a Nuppon who sold it to me on the cheap. X marked spot, he said, and I believed him. I, I'd been up to Golden Twin Mesa looking all over, but I haven't found a thing. Guess this treasure map isn't worth the paper it's drawn on. I guess I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Or maybe I'm just going about this in the wrong way and I just need some kind of special scale to find the treasure. Would you say it requires to be in, in the field? <laughs> oh boy. I'm fed up with this now, but maybe you can go have a go at tracking down the treasure for me. What do you say? Of course, I'll, if you bring it back, I'll let you keep it. Promise. Because, you know, finding out the truth of the matter is more important to me than the treasure right now. Good luck with that. Yay. Here he, she, she be treasure. As in, like, the field skills. We shall settle that later, because I get the feeling we're going, we're going to be needing the mining skill. <laughs> It'd just be a hint. And now, and now I can't stop talk, 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 talking like this. God help us all. 
And this place is expansive and has grip boxes which are quite, um, well, it's differing, it's, it's differing in levels. I mean, like 25, 27, then it's 30s. So it seems, it seems like we have one, one of our first indices of reused enemies, just uh, but just in desert form, which is which is not that inher inher in inherently bad, and just I'm 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 surprised that we're seeing it so soon. But still, it's not uh, I'm I'm not complaining. It's still harder for us to beat, and and for uh, for those who are behind, it's something to grind grind upon. So. Has nothing worth and no, and nothing worth knowing. But now, uh, but now that we are in a bit, a bit more of a fight, I want to. I definitely, I definitely want, want to make note of something that I wanted to say uh, earlier. Something that I have found with, 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 with the combat is that this game, especially through uh, uh, through narrative and tutorials. Hasn't really hasn't really gi given you much of an option to use your blade as you as you use your blade combos or or, 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 or your blade or your blade levels, because we've had a few fights that have gone on for a long time, like uh, like Bridget for instance, when when we first met met her, I think only like what may like what maybe two like maybe two or three times, we've. Okay, make a liar out of the game, and even when I do, it revolves around nothing. This game has not gi given me much opportunity to use our full, our full blade, blade art levels. I get to like level two and level three, and that's really it. Really, is kind of weird how it, it makes it a narrative. We yes, indeed. Now, How did you get the battle direction thing to show up? I, as in like, as in like, hang on, as in like, this thing? Yeah. I, um, right, right, right trigger. <laughs> okay, may well while I'm doing that, I'm close to death, but hopefully these guys will ignore, ignore the little haze and be able to just attack in silence, I guess. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I'm gonna try it now. This enemy is quite a few levels higher. I'm now, I'm now noticing, which might be a bad idea. But if I, if I end up living, then oh my god, I'm, oh my god, I'm so cool. But I don't know. I mean, it could, it could be the fact that I've been using Hayes and Laura um, a few times. But as much as I try, it seems to be really, really difficult for. Uh, for me or anyone else I play as to lead, uh, to uh, <laughs> to reach level four, and I don't know why. And again, this guy is taking is take is take is taking a while to kill. So what I'm gonna do with Lauren Hayes is I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go back and forth and try and try and try to pick up their pick, uh, pick up the pace on on their blade art levels. Because if it works, then then fantastic. If I don't die before anything else, and I'm like, really, really need your help. And for some reason, I went out of combat, which was weird. Why? Why am I doing that? Excuse, excuse me. Um, is it because I'm actually? It was because I was going up the slide, wasn't it? And and it and it knocked me out of combat. That's a bit silly. <sighs> anyway, let me try the experiment one more time. I'm just gonna try and build up my car combo as much as I can between Hayes and Laura and see what I can, I can do. Again, it's a little weird how I can't get it done, but oh no. Could it be because we're used to being max affinity from the base game and then suddenly going back to level one? Uh, it could be. It could be. At the same time though, it just seems ri really slow how how they introduce the com uh, 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 the notion of level four combos and make it a narrative focus between uh, between Jin uh, between Jin and Laura and yet make it so hard to achieve I guess 
I mean, again, this vault is now, is now down to half health, and I'm now just taking time to build up combat. The only time that I, or the only way that I can think of being a, of being able to build, build, build up on my own, is if I exclude people from the party, which I think is, I think it's count, I think it's counterproductive. But that's just me. I mean, maybe it's because in this DLC we've got more people fighting, and then hence less of a need for level four specials. Whereas in the base game we only had three attackers, so we needed the four specials a lot more. I think. I think that definitely, I think it definitely makes sense. And on top of that, the level four specials is how you put in elemental orbs. Tr true, true. But actually, no. Actually, actually, no. Actually, no. Actually, no. Listen, the level one, uh, uh, level one attacks do that now. Ah. Yeah. So, to your point, though, I can see it be being a way of balancing, but still. It is a bit weird how they make it, again, a narrative focus, then make it so hard to achieve. I don't know. It could be me, but either way. Anything good here? Well, to who, 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 we're here in the Golden Mesa, but I'm seeing Everybody. nothing of the sort. I'm probably, going to, I'm, probably going to, I'm probably going to skip fights now because I don't want to fight, uh, uh, fight too much and be overleveled. Because oh, uh, there's no child. A challenge there. Oh God! <laughs> game, game, straight off. That, that was a jerkish move. <laughs> but I guess that's our first instance of Antles. They lay traps, I guess. I mean, what is this? You're gonna fall. Yep, you are. <laughs> I mean, what is this? And what? And was this a team, a team rocket trap in the first series? What? Oh, so he knows mining. Thank God. <laughs> and is this going to be the treasure chest that woman was looking for as Laura rises above with it? Now I'm really curious. And we get my money. Okay, so it wasn't what we were looking for. Good to know, and it is also good to know that there are Turkish traps that have been dug by Antles. I guess the name gives it away. True. The Great Break Sand. Yep. Oh God. Yep. I'm I'm not an arachnophobic, but that's creepy to look at. Yeah, and I wonder what would what do you think would happen if we if we took out that miasma? It'd break. Yeah, and then you'd be dead. And that's probably where the treasure is. I see what you're doing, game. I see what you're you're doing, and we can't continue, which is great. Man, so already Monolith for. I've I've not given up their jerkish ways. <laughs> Good to know some things don't change, and here I thought, and, and here I thought, based on what I said earlier, this game was taking it easy on us. That that it was being being light. Well, but so 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 much for that. If there's one thing that I can appreciate from Monolith, I like how they still keep their keep those implied challenge cha uh, challenges in there. Mm-hmm. As it, seem, it seems like this guy is blocking our path and will not let us proceed. So, I guess you could say this is a man, a man, a mandatory fight, I suppose? Perhaps? They, maybe? Either way, it's stuff we can take out. But at least, again, it, gi it, gives, it, it gives us our first example of Antos fights. They, they, they like a pack mentality and can they kill you? Something tells me tells me Hayes with Hayes was not meant to take the lead in this particular sense. <laughs> but hey ho, I can't complain. But what I think I'm, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask is how do we get the pie to focus now? I can't remember. I'll have to consult the tips. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. That's something I can say in this game and actually mean it. As Bridget go, as Bridget go, as Bridget goes to die. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no. This is this is this is this is definitely a weird challenge. I like always said this game is going easy on me, and now, and here I am getting my, get I get I get my butt handed to me by giant ants. <laughs> it's like, it's like every time I make. 
I make suggestions. I may. I make suggestions about this game go, uh, going easy on us. It immediately slaps me in the face. Going, what did you say? I wonder if Monolith can hear us right now. <laughs> are they scanning every? Are they? Are they, are they scanning? Uh, <laughs> shall we play playthrough? Who knows? Hi, Monolith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like Monopon. <laughs> I guess. But please, we really like. We'd really like a, mon a monopon plush. Or Ricky plush. Or any plush. <laughs> Please, or any merchandise to speak of that's not Nintendo exclusive. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be honest, I was worried that playing <sighs> at playing as Hayes, that she, uh, that she would be <laughs> flummoxed by a wall. No, thank you. I was worried that playing as Hayes, she wouldn't, she, she wouldn't be a heavy, a heavy hitter or very use or very useful. And the first point is, she's correct. She is, she's not a hard hitter. She definitely takes the healing role, but she is not bad in a sense. She has she has good synergy with Jin and and Fan Tran, Laura, and her definite healing abilities do come in handy, especially since she is the. I guess dedicated healer and Laura's more of a mixed attacker. I don't know. It is it is a pleasant and surprising. As the first fight in this episode showed, she can knock back enemies and make quick work of unique monsters in the right situation. <laughs> but either way though, this guy is done and done. So anyway, I see no reason that then then to not go on. Ignore the mining failures here. <laughs> Aye. It's it's a shame because I can think of blades that have fortitude and all that. Yeah. Uh, I thought, Gorg, we need you. And I, oh, wait, Gorg's not here. <laughs> yeah, we don't. E e e e e e e we don't have access to them at all. But to your point, though, it does make me wonder, because this is far away from when the main game takes place. Are we Are we going to encounter... Any, any, any of these blades, because, like for example, the first the first one that comes to my mind is Zenobia, or Rock. I wonder if we're gonna see Rock. Po and possibly, or or any of the blades in their pre pre previous incarnations, because that might help might help us learn more about. Oh, you absolute cretins! Oh well, we've got we've got to go go goes on at some point. So you know what? We'll be right back if these guy if these guys don't knock us into next week. And and we'll see who who what who who what the hiding, if any. The enemy's element is now wind. Wind apparently. <laughs> Thank, thanks, thanks, Azura. <laughs> Same which what if I can run on a I I, I if I can run into him here. Probably because he's cause he talked about five hundred years ago before. He's talked about Adam as well. Nice. I think he's the one that let Adam into this Elpis cave. Uh, I it was gonna be in, uh, interesting to see that. That. Do, do you consider the Aegis's? I mean, my power and danger. As long as you are Adam. There's nothing to fear. Phew. You should put a lot of trust in that guy. I think you understand why I do. What? I couldn't... I couldn't hear... I couldn't hear... She... She... Over, oh, over all that wind and failure. <laughs> but... hey ho. Goggles... Weren't too hard... I weren't too hard... I weren't too hard to deal with. And... We, we can just head forward. You know, for all the gripes and worries we had about about a desert, honestly, not too not too much trouble. We we took a left here, we took a right here, a noble land we've reached. and it seems like it, is too. it seems like we're done. Here we are, and I feel like if no, I know better person to run run to, then. Than the prince himself. Honey, I'm home. I guess. It's not technically my home, but 
Still, I am related to this guy's home. That's not right. What's not right? This Titan. Why isn't it in its real form? You noticed. What do you mean? That isn't the original form of the Torn and Titan. In ancient times, the Torn and Titan held awesome power. Torna made use of that power to dominate all the rest for a thousand years. But the power was shut away in the reign of Electos I. Since then, the Titan has looked like this. See that glowing sphere in the castle tower? That forms the seal. Is that what Malus is aiming for? Why would he do that? Wouldn't it be a threat to him too? Truthfully, I don't know myself. But in any case, if he makes a move for it, it is clear what we must do. Agreed. You can see the palace in the distance. We should head there first. Offer our report to His Majesty. And, and here we are, after so much anticipation from the main game and, and, and also the very start, we're finally here. Tor, Tor, Torna, and the very capital. And, for a start, definitely looks very mythical and legendary. Mm-hmm. And just from, and just from the view that we saw from the outside, Definitely seems high class. But I think now I think that's a good I think that's a good a good point to end on. So next episode guys we'll be heading around Torna, exploring, and viewing our home as it were. And, and see the culture. And hopefully report we'll to our brother who's, you know, surely happy to see us. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe not. Anyway. As always, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And we'll see you next time.